Hi, in this video I'm going to give you five simple tips for using the new HD stencils from multilayerstencils.com. They are very simple tips, but it will give you an idea on how to use the stencils if you have never used them before or if you got yours and you're trying to you know, come up with new ways. Um, hopefully these ideas will help you and, and help you develop uh, your own new ways, your own new techniques. So let's get started with the first technique. So the first tip is to simply spray the stencil to get the design. Uh, this is as easy as it gets. And this is useful whenever you are, you just want some really simple designs and some quick uh, custom design designs on, on whatever you're painting. So the second tip I can give you is to layer stencils. And what I mean by layering is to use the same stencil over and over. You know, you, you have multiple subjects on the same painting or uh, you can use multiple designs and combine them together in the same painting. And that's usually what I like to, uh, to do uh, because I like the results of doing that. And it can take a basic, uh, a basic painting to a very complex painting when you use the layering technique. And you can also use it use it as little as you want or you can you know layer so many designs together that you know you end up with something very very complex so the third tip or technique however you want to call this uh, is to use the stencil to to do um, a ghosting effect uh, to do the ghosting effect all you need to do is use the stencil and spray it lighter uh, so that you don't get full coverage and and this technique is going is going to be very subjective uh, it, it will depend how you like it if you want the ghosting the, uh, to appear very lightly uh, then you want to spray less if you want the ghosting to be a, a bit more prominent you know uh, you know then you spray a bit more so it is very personal how you want to do that uh, but it about a ghosting technique is a very uh, a very efficient way of covering a lot of white background or an empty background. Uh, when you use ghosting, it you know it really helps on a painting. So another tip is to use negative stencils. Negative stencils are really good to paint directly onto black uh, surfaces. Uh, the only thing you need to do with negative stencils is to spray white through the stencil and you're gonna get your design on black and you and you can still use um, any other techniques using the negative stencils it's just a lot of uh, time saved whenever you're working directly onto black so an extra tip i have for you is to use these stencils to paint full color uh, paintings as well. And most of the stencils have a reference picture on the website. If you go on the product description for that design, you're gonna find that there, there's gonna be a link for the reference picture. With that reference picture, uh, you can use it for matching colors and guiding yourself uh, to paint that painting full color. So these are some few tips I can give you for using the new HD stencils from multilayerstencils.com. This is by no means the complete list of things you can you can do with them. But if you are wondering what kind of things you can do with them, uh, this will get you started. And if you already have some stencils and you want more ideas, try these ideas out and see how they work for you. I'm sure you you are discovering a lot of new ways of using them as well that uh, I haven't talked about, but uh, that is the point, right? To to play around with them and see what we can come up with. Thank you for watching, guys. 
Until next video.